So I'm an asshole. Ah, you are. I've already made you drink your coffee. Terrible, terrible. How dare you come over here and bring me beer? What an asshole. Good beer. <laughs> I know. But now I'm going to bring something that just represents your place. Right. So, we got from Twin Sales Brewing excellent. again. I've got the Bachelor <laughs> the Pad. Bachelor Pad Double IPA. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. Coming at 8.3% alcohol by volume. Wow. <laughs> this has water, barley, wheat, oats, hops, and yeast. I've had a couple of the Twin Sales IPAs before, and they have been uh, amongst the best IPAs I've ever had in my entire life. Well, this time you get to open it. All right. I don't think I've on. shaken it too much. So. Okay. There we go. I mean, if it did spill, it, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't clean it anyway. It's just like a right? Exactly. Nobody's coming over here. Nobody's going to see that. Exactly. My cat will look it up later. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> so, I, I, this one I, I have had before. Mm. I had it when I was in BC, but I never did a review of it. it smells amazing. What you have the last little it smells bit Smells like fruity and like melony and like citrusy. Yes, it does. Wow. It can almost smell like, you can smell some pineapple in there. Tangerine. Wow, yeah. It's a nice cloudy color as yeah. well. So it'll be very fruity. Oh yeah. It, it looks like carbonated tropical beverage. And you know, it's 30 bucks, so almost 30 bucks for a four pack here. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. So, I, I actually got this in BC yeah. and it was like 19 bucks four pack. Right. Fucking BC. <laughs> Damn it, stupid Alberta. So yeah. All right, let's try this out. Enjoy. Cheers. Oh, that goes down smooth as butter. You know, people mm -hmm. associate IPAs with being really bitter. They don't have to be. They nope. don't have to be at all. Nope, and this is one of the reasons why I'm getting onto the IPA kick because of yep. this stuff. Yeah, this tastes like, it tastes like fruit juice. Mm-hmm, and 8.2%. Oh, you'd never guess. Nope. Yeah, you can't taste the alcohol at all. That's incredible. No, you do have that Dude, nice wow. little tangerine citrus flavor. Yeah, you do absolutely. Have like, touch of pineapple. You do yeah. have that little bitterness of the hops. Yep. If this, um, if this wasn't um, such a high uh, ABV, this would be like a summer beer. Like it tastes like a, a light kind of a, um, um, what's that, what's that citrusy beer? Oh God, there's a few of them. <laughs> like the, the logo is like the guy with the orange for a head. Oh, it, uh, it kind do, of reminds me. Do we me, really have to go shock top? So that, yeah, it, it kind of, it, 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 like, cause shock top is like very low tier beer, mm. you know, like, you, like that's yep. like, that's like, um, it's like that's, that's, or something. That's macro. Well, it's macros. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like it has it has that kind of like a light kind of summery beer taste to it. But it's like the high AB, uh, ABV. It's um, yep. It's very versatile. Very cold weather beer as well. Yep. No, it's just this is one of the ones that I really do enjoy. I mean, oh, that's man, twin sales. Good. <laughs> that is so good. There's so many different fruit flavors in that. That's incredible. Mm-hmm. There wow. it is. And that's the thing, it's it's much better than your old Milwaukee, that's for damn sure. That is true. Well, most things are. <laughs> so I'm pretty much coming here, bringing this to you, I'm classing up your bachelor pad. I appreciate that. I appreciate I mean, that. It's, it's one of those ones where... It doesn't you, take much. Uh, just bring a good beer and it, it's, it's classed up like five levels right there. Right, right. <laughs> this is true. No, this is, I really do enjoy this and I, I would go out and buy it again, but I wouldn't spend the 30 bucks. Yeah, that is a little pricey. Um, maybe for a special occasion. Mm -hmm. About $30 for a six pack is quite pricey. It is. But you can taste where that money goes. This is a, a, a highly above average beer. Oh yeah. This yeah. is the kind of beer where it's like if somebody doesn't like IPAs and you gave this to them, they wouldn't know they're drinking an IPA. No. Because people always associate IPAs with things so bitter. You tell them it's a pale ale and they believe you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> tell them it's like a pineapple flavored beer, they believe you. Mm-hmm. Oh, do you remember the days where we looked around and it's like, oh, this is a beautiful beer. The Made in the Shade. We oh, thought yeah. it, was, it was actually a grapefruit beer. Yeah, 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 but it was an IPA. It was an actual IPA. It's yeah. like, oh, this just tastes like grapefruit. This yeah. is a grapefruit beer. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's amazing some of the citrus notes you get in an IPA, though. Oh, yeah. Wow. Really good. Oh, this is definitely something worthwhile. So would this be something you'd buy again? Absolutely. I'd buy it again. I'd get drunk off of it. I would recommend it to people. I would give it full top score. Um, really, really special IPA. Really special IPA. It is. Well, you got two other ones in the fridge that you get to have that are not that, but they're outcast beers. I want to see what you think of the comparison between the two. Interesting. I will I will let you know for sure. Because it is a double IPA for them too. Yeah. And it is very smooth, very beautiful drinking. Yeah. But this one is what we're reviewing. This is about as good as it gets in terms of IPAs. Yeah, yeah. 
I can't wait to go to BC and bring back a bunch of Twin Sails. Mm. Twin Sails is just hitting the nail on the head every time. Yeah, I don't think I, f well, I found one that I wasn't really a big fan of. Yeah. Tough to drink. Yeah. But still is good. Mm. All right, well, I'm gonna let this guy get back to what he's doing. I've been PK. Johnny O School. And he's been back <laughs> just for a couple. Yeah. Just, just so that we know that he's still alive. I am. So all, all the people that have been asking on my YouTube channel, he's still alive. I still exists. I still just exists. live in a studio now, so. Yep. Yep. Till next time, we'll talk to you real soon. Peace. Cheers.